The Guam Police Department believes it has rounded up the last of the individuals who they suspect were involved in the sexual assault of two female minors over the weekend. The Criminal Justice Strike Force conducted a follow-up investigation and were looking for a 19-year-old Help Me Roby. According to GPD spokesperson officer A.J. Belahaja, officers found Roby at a residence in the Santa Ana area and an interview revealed that there were two other suspects. Police arrested Roby along with 19-year-old Ora Tuck Henry and 26-year-old Betawin Henry on charges of criminal sexual conduct, conspiracy to commit child abuse, criminal facilitation, destroying evidence, jurisdiction over an adult, hindering apprehension, child abuse, and unsworn falsification. Ora Tuck Henry was also charged with child pornography. Police have not said whether he took photos of the alleged sexual acts. Roby, who was named the other day in a magistrate's complaint with 20-year-old Gibson Belias and 17-year-old Hen Henry, appeared in court today. Superior Court Magistrate Judge Alberto Tolentino. The court reviewed a declaration that was attached to the complaint and agrees that there was probable cause to charge you with this, these crimes. As we reported, the five are accused of drinking alcohol with two female minors, ages 11 and 15, and then allegedly taking turns and sexually assaulting the girls in a jungle area near Santa Ana in Dededo. The court appointed attorney Terry Timblin to represent Roby, who has a prior juvenile record that is not public information. Assistant Attorney General Nicole Driscoll. People are recommending a $100,000 cash bail. Uh, the nature and seriousness of the charges in this case are very grave indeed, uh, the kind that really shocked the community. Uh, for that reason, we believe he, he poses a potential danger. The defendant also fled from the scene, uh, allegedly, uh, and thus represents a, a flight risk. Beto and Henry and Orita Henry are expected to appear before a judge on Thursday as the Attorney General's office is still reviewing police reports. While the criminal aspect of the case is pretty much wrapped up, police are now investigating whether patrol officers acted appropriately and responded to a 911 call that was made around 4.30 Saturday morning from a neighbor who reported teens drinking and throwing rocks on the roof of a vacant home. The resident said that the teens ran away and officers didn't show up until a few hours later when they received the beyond control complaint. Officer Bella Haja has said that probe includes reviewing how many officers were on duty at the time, what types of calls police were responding to at that time, and whether any officers responded to the initial 911 call. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Indy Egan. Now, police have also reported that they found two of the defendants still wearing the same clothing they wore the morning of the incident. Those items were confiscated. It's also important to note that while the case has been considered a gang rape, police have no information at this point that leads them to believe that the suspects are part of an actual gang. The term is used by police as there were multiple suspects allegedly involved in the rape of the victims.